Hello and welcome to this video where we will explore the history, design, features, and role of MRH-90 Taipan, a medium-sized twin-engine, multi-role helicopter manufactured by Australian Aerospace, a unit of Airbus helicopters. We will also discuss the problems and issues that the MRH-90 Taipan faced and the reasons why it was replaced by the Black Hawk and the Sea Hawk. The MRH-90 Taipan is operated by the Australian Navy and Army and can perform various missions such as troop transport, search and rescue, special operations, and medical evacuation. The MRH-90 Taipan is based on the NH Industries NH-90, a European helicopter that was developed in response to NATO requirements for a versatile and reliable transport helicopter. The NH-90 has two main variants, the Tactical Transport Helicopter for Army use and the NATO Frigate Helicopter for naval use. The MRH-90 Taipan is derived from the TTH variant, but has some modifications and customizations to meet the Australian specifications and requirements. The MRH-90 Taipan has a length of 19.56 meters, a width of 4.6 meters, and a height of 5.31 meters. It is powered by two Rolls-Royce Turbomeca RTM322019 turboshaft engines, each producing 1,662 kilowatts of power. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 10.6 tons and a maximum payload of 2.5 tons. It can carry up to 20 passengers or 12 stretchers or 4,000 kilograms of cargo. It has a maximum speed of 300 kilometers per hour, a cruising speed of 260 kilometers per hour, and a range of 800 kilometers. It has a service ceiling of 6,000 meters and a hover ceiling of 3,000 meters. The MRH-90 Taipan features a full glass cockpit with a layout similar to current generation helicopters. It uses an integrated digital avionics system from GE Aviation Systems and a four-axis autopilot system from Thales. It has both conventional and fly-by-wire flight controls and a fly-by-light system that uses optical fibers instead of electrical wires to transmit signals. The MRH-90 Taipan is equipped with a self-protection suite, which includes a radar warning receiver, a missile approach warning system, a laser warning system, and a countermeasure dispensing system. The MRH-90 Taipan was ordered by the Australian Defence Force in 2005 as part of the AR-9000 program, which aimed to replace the existing fleet of helicopters with new and modern ones. The MRH-90 Taipan was selected to replace the S-70A9 Black Hawk and the Sea King helicopters and to complement the CH-47F Chinook and the ARH Tiger helicopters. The MRH-90 Taipan was expected to provide a common platform for both the Navy and the Army and to reduce the costs and complexity of maintenance and training. The Australian Defence Force ordered a total of 47 MRH-90 Taipans, with the first delivery in 2007 and the final delivery in 2021. However, the MRH-90 Taipan has faced many problems and challenges, such as technical difficulties, budget cuts, and political instability. The MRH-90 Taipan has suffered from poor availability and reliability and has been grounded several times due to safety and maintenance issues. The MRH-90 Taipan has also been delayed and over budget and has failed to meet the performance and capability expectations. The MRH-90 Taipan has been criticized for its high operating costs, which are estimated to be $30,000 to $40,000 per hour, higher than those of combat aircraft. The MRH-90 Taipan has also been involved in several accidents and incidents, some of which resulted in fatalities and injuries. In 2021, the Australian Parliament released a report on the MRH-90 Taipan, detailing the problems and issues with the helicopter and recommending a replacement strategy. The report stated that the MRH-90 Taipan was not fit for purpose and that it should be retired as soon as possible. The report suggested that the MRH-90 Taipan should be replaced by the Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk and the MH-60R Sea Hawk, which are proven and reliable helicopters that are used by the United States and other allies. The report also recommended that the Australian Defence Force should review its helicopter acquisition and management processes and improve its oversight and accountability. In 2023, the Australian Defence Force announced that it would ditch its entire fleet of MRH-90 Taipans and replace them with new Black Hawks and Sea Hawks imported from the United States. The decision was made in the interest of Australia's national security and to provide the best equipment and capability for the Australian troops. 
The decision was also supported by the Australian public and the media, who welcomed the end of the troubled and costly MRH-90 Taipan program. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.